Welcome, welcome to your weekend romance from Born Without Boundaries. If you have not yet subscribed, please click subscribe below and ring that bell so you know when I go live, which is actually Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m., somewhere between that time, Eastern Standard Time. I do a daily reading and I go live and do a question and answer. So welcome to my channel, everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you so much for your support. The channel is growing beautifully and I'm so very grateful for all that you do. Now, today, we're doing something different. I've sort of revamped the weekend romance. Uh, what I wanted to do was do um, per zodiac sign, specific readings per zodiac sign here, general readings per zodiac sign, I will timestamp them. And then in the extended, go into who's coming in for you. That's where you're going to get over the in the extended. Over here, we're going to go into just general energies for your zodiac sign for romance this weekend. If you have a week, if you watch the weeklies and you can find that playlist right below, um, it doesn't supersede the weekly prediction for romance. But this is just the general energies, general juiciness that's happening this weekend. So let's get into it. We're going to start at Scorpio and move through. Scorpio, general energies, actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. And your Moonology card is nothing will come of this situation. So this is what's telling me. It's a sort of a reiteration, I think, <clears throat> of what the energies that I was channeling for you yesterday is enough is enough and you're done. And it's because of the fact that somebody's action spoke very loudly, whether it was inaction or action, you're done with them because you see them for exactly who they are. And the wonderful part about your season and especially Mercury retrograde in your season is that it brings up the truths and the realities that people tried to hide. And I think what happens is in terms of romance, you saw right through somebody, you saw right through their behavior, you saw their actions or you finally saw them for what they truly were and now you're taking action and ending things you're just done so who's coming in for you will be very very important and I hope to see you over on Vimeo going on to Libra Libra in love a union of hearts is coming up so what do you need to release I think there's something in your heart that you need to release before you can let true love in and I think there's a union on the horizon you could very well be meeting people that you have a lot of chemistry and a lot of wonderful energy with this weekend. Um, a great potential. There's just a lot of there's just a lot of love is in the air, Libra. Um, but go in, try to go in with an open heart. In other words, there's still a little bit of hurt, a little bit of disappointment, or a little bit of uncertainty in your heart this weekend, and you carry that with you with whoever you meet. So this person actually could either be helping you heal or just the action of going out and opening yourself up to love is something you're doing to helping yourself heal that will help you heal. So don't stay in this weekend. Go out with, go out with friends. What is this? Okay. I apologize. Go out with friends, go out and meet new people. Or even if you're in the grocery store, be open to smiling at people. Even though your heart may be a little bit still hurting, I would say it's, it's healing for you. It's going to, um, yeah, it's going to be very beneficial for you to be open to new experiences because look at this, a union of hearts. There is true love there. This could also speak to if you're in a relationship right now, the two of you mending things and the two of you being able to heal or this being a very romantic weekend between the two of you after you were a little bit on the rocks. So if you would like to know who is coming in for you or the predictions, if you're especially if you're single, Libra, go head on over to the extended. That link is below. Um, so this is the energy for Sagittarius. Receive with love and appreciation. Okay, so you have options this weekend coming to you. The answers you need are coming. I feel like maybe there was some strife between you and another person and you might be getting an explanation and communication. Since this is the Gemini card, there is communication coming in that will answer some questions or clarify things between you and somebody else that were a little bit on the rocks. Um, also, this is opportunities coming in. So speak, be willing to speak, Sagittarius. Be willing to open your heart. Be willing to use your words and enjoy yourself um, out loud. Be willing to make the first move this weekend Sagittarius because you will get some nice results 
Moving on to Capricorn this weekend, demonstrate love. Find out what is important to those you love and act on it. So don't hold back Capricorn this weekend. Show your love. Don't feel worried or scared that you'll be rejected. Show it. Show people that you love and care. I think it'll be a healing experience for you too. It'll get you in the mood of love. It'll get you in just the, the feeling of tenderness that you, it's almost like you need to feel more tender now. And showing your love and showing your affection and being that conduit for love will help create that. Um, we have are you good at you are good enough so please do have confidence this is Virgo this is healing this is new starts this is an energy of um, acceptance of people unconditionally and and allow yourself to trust that yes you are worth love and so you can share love if you felt a little bit backed up or felt a little hesitant and you felt that um, oh my God, maybe I shared too much. Maybe I expressed too much. Maybe I, maybe I showed somebody too quickly that I, that I cared about them. No, that's not the case. Believe in yourself, have faith in yourself because love is all around you. There's this wonderful, beautiful energy of you being accepted for exactly who you are. Nice. All right. Moving on to Aquarius, love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Love endures. But I feel like there's a traveling. There's a sense of moving away from. And so maybe this is was a worry or a concern of yours. This weekend, perhaps you're traveling or leaving the person that you love or wrapping things up on a project that you're working on together. Maybe there is just some sort of movement or motion that you feel like will threaten your relationship. Bring love into the situation. Incorporate the move into your love, Aquarius. Incorporate, like zest it up. Try to be sexy when it comes to Skype. You know what I'm saying? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like whatever the situation is, um, especially if there's distance involved, you can, your love can endure it. You can find creative ways to keep in communication with each other and keep... Um, yeah, just keep the love alive and keep the sexiness alive. And uh, yeah, let's see. Um, hold on. I just feel like there's no, there's more that I have to say. Um, I, I do see maybe the two of you, maybe, maybe the, the answer is that the two of you will start to travel together, invite them on your journeys and see maybe it's not too early in the relationship. And even if you think it is, mention it, say, well, you know, I have to leave. I have to, I have to go here or whatever. I have to be away for work, et cetera, et cetera. But, um, maybe you want to come with me. Maybe you want to travel with me. Maybe, maybe you think it's too soon, but ask because I don't think, I think your offer will be well received. Also, this is a feeling of you may have felt you were growing apart from the person that you love, but that's not true. The love is going to endure. This weekend, you'll see a strengthening of your bonds and uh, an appeasement of your concern that your love was growing distant from you. Nice. And if you are single, the extended is over on Vimeo, but if you are single, it just means that love is closer than you think it is. Love it. Okay, here we go. Aquarius, we're going into Pisces. Express love through gifts. There is somebody that's going to be definitely demonstrating that they're in love with you this week, this weekend. Luck is on your side. Wow. So the arrow is hitting the target this weekend, Pisces. Somebody is going to be demonstrating or trying to demonstrate through. No, I'll get this. I'll let me let me pick up let me pick up the drinks. Let me let me let me pay for dinner or really just demonstrate. I thought of you when I saw this type of thing, showing you that they love you and having affection for you. Maybe this is a new start. This is a new this is a new person and you didn't even realize that they were interested in you, but they're going to be demonstrating it through their physical, tangible, material sharing of their resources this weekend. So Get on out there and say yes, especially if it is somebody that you're interested in or allow your heart and eyes to be open if it's somebody that, that if it's an opportunity or an offer for somebody that you never even thought this would happen with. Also, this is for long-term relationships saying, hey, get out there and express your love through gifts. Maybe pick up those earrings that you know that she wanted. Maybe pick up that... Um, 
um, those tickets to the to the game that you know that he's wanted, whatever it is that your loved one really, really was interested in, um, go out there and make the investments and uh, be um, be proactive about it. This is a good weekend to show love through gift giving. All right, I know, I know, it's like all exciting. <laughs> Aries, treasure your loved ones. I think right now you're sitting in your hat, you have a situation where um, you're either going back home, maybe, um, uh, hold on, let me, let me get the moonology card. Surrender to the divine. Yeah, whatever has been happening in your life, this is about acceptance. Either accepting and appreciating those ones that you were with and actually allowing yourself to break down those walls and accept this weekend that yes, this love is real. This love is true. This is a love that can grow into something that is beautiful and long-term, maybe even family and children. Or it's accepting that you need to return back to your home. You need to have time to heal. You're accepting what has happened, what is coming in with maybe an ending of a relationship and being around loved ones and people who care about you and your constants, you know what I'm saying, your soul tribe. Those are the people that you need to be around this weekend. It could very well just clarify things for you and help you release any kind of doubts or fears that were sort of crowding your heart and clouding your heart and clouding your happiness. <sighs> Love you, Aries. And then we have Gemini. And how perfect is this that the Gemini card came out for Gemini? So this is a very, this, this weekend is going to be very beneficial to you. It's going to be very, it's going to bring into a sort of a sense of balance, bring you back into you and reinvigorate your confidence. Anything that was hidden will be revealed. Anything that was confusing to you will be clarified. It's time to release negative, negative energy. You, if you, especially if you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, it's time to move on from that situation and balance out your life by leaving that energy behind you. Or it's also just clarification in um, if you were dealing with somebody who does hold back their emotions, now you're gonna finally be able to understand them. I know that's very frustrating for you guys when you're with, with, when you're with somebody or when you're interested in somebody who holds back their emotions or you're not sure how they feel about you, this weekend will be will, will bring clarity so that you don't have to worry or so that you don't have to question or wonder anymore. See, it's like the end. It's the release of any kind of confusion or um, any kind of, not, not just it's not necessarily horribly negative energy, but just any kind of confusion is going to be clarified this weekend for you. Um, and it, it, it's just going to, yeah, yeah, it's just gonna, it's just going to be cleared up. You'll either be able to release the person because you'll be able to understand that they're not the one or whatever they tried to communicate or their feelings, whoever is is feeling on you, that those feelings will be revealed and it'll be clarified this weekend. It'll be, um, yeah, it'll be... Um, I'm finding it hard with words but this weekend, but I don't feel like you will. I think you uh, there's an there's an ending to a Yeah, there's a there's just an ending to something that was very very heavy very, very heavy and impeding you and impeding your happiness in some way. It was frustrating you. You're going to get clarity on it this weekend. I wanted to have the right words and say the right things. So cancer, this is coming right out to you. Like attracts like. If you long for love, be more loving. So this is about you, cancer. This weekend especially, I felt this a while. You're calling in your love. You're calling in that person to you. You're also you're also strengthening whatever relationship that you're in. But it's saying that you have to be demonstrative. You have to be out loud. See, lots of times Cancerians can get hidden, right? In what we have, <laughs> what is this? It's just the perfect combination. Communication is key, especially if you're dealing with a Gemini or somebody like an air sign that communicates very well and expects you to be able to articulate your feelings. They're not going to be able to intuitively pick up on what, what, what an air sign would consider reading your mind, right? It's not that. It's actually, you try to use your words this weekend, and believe me, you can see how, how much I'm stuttering. Words can be a little bit difficult this weekend. So maybe it's just expressing your emotions or showing them, walking up to them and giving them a kiss. Or if it's somebody new, you know, making that eye contact, smiling, maybe waving high from across the bar, 
In other words, be willing and be open to show that you are interested in somebody this weekend because I feel like it's really going to be beneficial to you. A lot of times as cancers, we don't like to make the first move. We don't, we hide our emotions. We almost expect our partner to sort of preemptively share the emotion that we really want to share with them because we're afraid to, of being rejected even if we're in a long-term relationship. That this is the weekend to put that back to not do that to put that behind you and to take the leap of faith and be willing to be vulnerable and demonstrate love because it is going to come back to you tenfold when you do any risk you have of being vulnerable the payback will be so far beyond any risk you took that is the promise this weekend Cancerian. Okay, coming into Leo, spend quality time together. You're going to get some lip lock and action this weekend. You're going to actually get to spend physical time. So expressing your love if you're in a long-term relationship, expressing your love physically and by being there, being present in their life, especially maybe if there's been a separation between you two, actually being physically present and um, um, you know, physically uh, physically expressive, lovingly, physically, through physical touch, showing that you're love. Um, you'll actually get to spend quality time together. That will go a long way for you this weekend, Leo. And if you are just getting into a relationship or meeting new people, there's going to be some lip lock and happen, happen and some making out at the, at the bar. Your hard work is paying off. So you're definitely heading in the right direction. You're coming to a point where maybe you've been pursuing somebody for a while. Maybe you've had been interested in somebody for a while. And this weekend, bada boom, bada bing, finally it's unearthing itself and you're actually going to get some physicality <laughs> coming into play. Um, even if you're in a long-term relationship, this is going to be a nice physical physical this is going to be the weekend where mm, just lay it down if you know what i'm trying to say <laughs> all right moving on to uh virgo you are limitless you can do anything you choose this is about showing seeing your self-worth because i feel like that's been compromised lately because of maybe not wanting to let go of a past relationship or having it hard to accept the change in a relationship this is you remembering your self-worth and understanding that you have you. A lot of times, Virgos, you can get lost or lose your idea. Yeah, confidence is your key to success. Look at this. You can lose your sense of self in your partner and you can marry your identity to your partners. Um, and it, it's it's... This weekend is calling you to find your uniqueness again, to remember who you are. It will strengthen your relationships and it'll also strengthen and improve upon the quality of the, if you're a Virgo that's, that's single, of the quality of people that you're attracting to you is if you remember how unique you are and remember that you don't need anybody. You bring the special when you walk into the room and just be yourself out loud and be proud of who you are. Like really have this Leo energy of self confidence and remembering how beautiful and wonderful you really, really, truly are. That is going to help you a lot this weekend, Virgo, to either improve upon your relationships, get through whatever conflicts that you guys have been dealing with, or reinvigorate your sense of self to walk away from something that isn't serving you, to know that you'll be okay and understand that um, somebody breaking up with you or you having to break up with somebody is not an expression of your own personal value remembering that your value comes from you and having that confidence to go out there and show how wonderful you are to any potential new people that are coming in. That's excellent. Okay, moving on. We're going to Libra. Libra energy, new love. Wait, didn't we start out for Libra? No, we didn't. We didn't start out with Libra, did we? I feel like I already did Libra. That's weird. Here we go. New love coming in for Libra. So Libra, you have the potential to uh, attract in a new mate or a new, new opportunities in love this week. Keep yourself open. I did do Libra, didn't I? But this card is coming out for Libra too. Let's do this. A win-win outcome and this is it. Full moon in Libra. So this is your time. The scales are rebalancing. If you have had conflicts in love or complications in love or complications finding somebody, this is that Libra energy 
energy coming through and balancing things out for you. This is your weekend to find new love. You have new romance and new love coming in or a reinvigoration of the love that you are already in coming in for you this weekend, Libra. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weekend. Just open up your heart and let yourself be trusting. You have blessings coming into you this weekend. All right, guys, the extended link is below. I'm going to do a um, I'm going to do a deeper read per zodiac sign as to who is coming in for you this weekend. Love you guys. See you over there.